Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. Today our topic is how do you protect sheet dynamically? So what do you understand by protect sheet and why, why we need to learn this? For example, let's say this is a Excel file and after I enter some value to this Excel file, I do not want anyone to modify this. So there is an option in the Excel file called protect sheet, which will prevent unwanted changes by others. Okay. So how to, so generally how you apply into an Excel file, you hit on this protect sheet and you can provide a password. So I'm entering, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six and click on. Okay. So the moment you enter, it'll ask you to re-enter the password or confirm the password. So once it is, you can see it is protected now. Now, until you hit on unprotect sheet, if you try to type anywhere, it is going to prompt you. If you see, it is prompting me and it is telling me the cell or the chart you are trying to change is a protected sheet. So I cannot put, I cannot make any kind of modification. So for the moment, let me unprotect it and let's try to do this using UI path. Okay. Now it should allow me to edit getting it. So let's remove all of this. Hit on save. This is a simple Excel file. There is nothing has been applied till now. So let's close this. So what I want, I wanted to do this dynamically in your UiPath Studio. So how to achieve this? Let's see it. So first of all, let's start from the very beginning. So let's use type Excel and all this new Excel activities that you see with the Excel icon in case on your studio if this is not available first thing you do click on the projects tab and hit on the settings and ensure the modern design is enabled okay so this has come in the 2021.10.3 latest edition of uipath uh, if you are using this you should be able to find all these activities okay enable the modern design in case you have stopped it so once you click on okay you should be able to mine is already in the modern design so i am able to see all these activities now the first thing I should do, I should use a Excel process scope, right? And within the Excel process scope, then I should use the use Excel file. Okay. So this is how you will be using the Excel activities. Now in the use Excel file, I'll hit on this browse button and I'm going to select the Excel file that I have, which is a blank Excel file. All right. And now in the use Excel file activity, I wanted to, let's say I want to write something, then I want to protect it. So let's use a write cell activity. Again, I'm using the new Excel activities, write cell. Even the older ones are available. I'll be using the new modern design activities. So I'm using the write cell activity. Now here, what to write? Let's say I'm, I will write my name and where to write. It's asking where to write. So hit on this plus sign, hit on the Excel and it will give you an option called indicate in Excel. So you can hit on this indicate in Excel. So what would happen? You are just pointing out where to write it. Okay. So if you do this, UiPath Studio is going to automatically open that Excel file for you. Okay. If that did not happen, just wait for a few seconds. And this is how the Excel file will open if the Excel is already present. So for me, that Excel is already present. So now, I can see this is the prompt which would come and hit on confirm. Okay, let's say I want to write in this cell and I want to hit on confirm. So what would happen? The automatic is going to, so try to use this plus sign. You can also use the custom input. So it will ask you to enter it manually. You can use the indicate in Excel. So this is the advantage with the modern activity. All right, so once I write Rakesh, I would like to protect the entire sheet so that nobody should change the value which is already entered so i will use a protect sheet below this okay and then again it's asking me select a sheet which sheet you want to protect a excel file may have multiple sheets so let's hit on this plus sign so keep your mouse see if you remove the plus sign is not there keep your mouse click on the plus sign hit on the excel and then it is it will automatically pull those Excel files. If the Excel file is present, if the Excel file is newly you are creating, uh, even the first activity that we have used, use Excel file, this has the capability to create if the file does not exist. So for me, the file is already present. So 
so that's why all these indications are coming okay if not you can use the custom input and you can put your uh, you know enter your input manually so here it is showing me so let me select sheet 1 and then it is asking for the password now remember the protect sheet on the right hand side if you see there are two options one is this one password and secure string so password if you hit on this particular three dots it is accepting a string for example if you type one two three four five six hit on okay so what would happen this is going to accept the password but there is a yellow exclamation mark which says uipath does not support or does not recommend entering passwords directly so this may not be a right way to do it so how do i enter this kind of a password then so i have you know you can store it in orchestrator asset the credential asset you can store it and from there you can pull it but let me show you in a very simple way okay which i would not recommend because this is not secure but for your learning purpose i am telling you so new system dot net dot network credential okay now if you put a double quote and hit on a comma look at the format that appears which tells you the the first value that you are going to enter is a username so for excel file i do not need a username so i am leaving it blank and then it is asking to enter a password as string so let me enter a password one two three four five six okay this is not a secure way to do it so use the orchestrator asset okay there is a video i have created if you want to learn more so i have entered the password and then dot password so what would happen this particular string will be converted in the password format and it will be stored so if you hit on okay see there is there used to be an exclamation mark now the exclamation mark is no more there this is one way the other way if you want to encrypt this okay if you want to encrypt this let me remove it there is something called secure string so your password that you have entered is going to be encrypted so that it prevents you from hacking right your data will not be hacked it will it will it is going to encrypt so if you want to use this field okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy paste the same thing and then instead of password put a dot and say secure password okay that way it is going to convert it to secure string if you look at the output okay this is the output as secure string so this becomes the output so hit on okay so this is also another way and you can see there is no error now so let's run it so right now our test file is completely blank right nothing is there it is going to write this value and after it writes it should protect it so let's execute and see how it is going to work let's see that okay so the execution got completed let's open this file now you can see rakesh has been written do you see i'm not able to modify anything the moment i'm typing it is prompting me this problem this error now if you wanted to unprotect to write something uh, during your execution in uipath studio there is also an activity called unprotect sheet okay and the format also remains the same unprotect sheet you provide the sheet name and provide the password just now i have shown you in two different ways the so same process you will be following for the unprotected sheet anywhere you would like to you know unlock those cells and then make some modification to that sheet then you will you can apply this dynamically okay so this will be a great use if you know that these are the two activities which can be used thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you thank you take care bye bye